So Adrian, I have a couple questions. Mm -hmm. I'm probably sure you get this a hundred times. I have only 824 subscribers. <laughs> How do I get to the uh, billions that you have? All right, well, definitely not billions. I have no idea. I, I just gave a talk in the other room. I don't know if you guys heard it, yeah. but I made videos about stuff I like. Ah, okay. And somehow people started watching. Right. I don't know why, but yeah. they do. Do you think it's your personality? Maybe, but, okay. but honestly, like, I don't, I work full time, so I don't need to make ah, YouTube videos, okay. right, to right. support myself. Right. So I make videos about what I like doing, okay. what interests me, and what I think people are, might want to watch. Now, what are some videos that you've made yeah. that, uh, what, what is it, is there like a common item or interest that you have that, uh, those videos that you like making? I mean, I like to fix things. Oh, okay. So it's really about repairing stuff for me. All right. Um, the history stuff is neat, like these guys do. They make those history videos. Yeah. But those yeah. take a lot of time. And when I work full time, I don't have I don't have enough time in the day to actually put the work in that these guys do. <laughs> fixing stuff, though. What I really love about fixing stuff is yeah. the elation you feel. Oh, right? And it's right. like when you're a software developer, for instance, and you have, you're have decoding bugs, trying yeah. to fix bugs, yeah. and you find the bug, yeah. you're like, yes! Like, I spent 20 hours trying <laughs> okay. to bug. It's no different. I am fixing some old esoteric computer that has right. no documentation, no one's ever known how to fix, and I reverse engineer fix it, and then I just feel so happy. Like, that... That keeps me going, making more videos. What is your greatest fix? I couldn't say. Or your any... greatest accomplishment, something you fixed. You know what's funny? I keep learning every time I fix something. Okay. So every time I fix a new computer, I get better at it. And I feel very gratified or satisfied or whatever the right word is yeah. when I go back and fix something that I couldn't fix before. Right, right. Because I didn't know how or I wasn't skilled enough. But you learned over time. And now I've learned. Ah. And I'm able to get that thing working again. And so recently I fixed a TRS-80 motherboard <laughs> and it had stumped me a couple years ago okay. where I was totally stumped. And now I conquered that thing and it works again. Now I have a question. In this whole computer festival, with all this cool hardware, what is the one item that you would love to purchase right now? What, what are your eyes on right now? So I came here, I flew here, and yeah. I brought a little carry-on bag, and that's it. So what? I knew that if I had a bigger bag, I might buy it. But Adrian, come on, you don't have one of those moving trucks out there? Yeah, there's people came with box trucks, and that was not me. By 2,100 miles, I came to all right. get here. Yeah. Um, I really love stuff from the 70s now, yep. and there's stuff in there oh. that are like really cool late 70s machines. Yeah. That I am like, and like there's an Altair, I love to have an Altair. Okay. Things like that, Inside 88, all those old machines. Ah, very cool. Because I started using computers in the 80s, oh, so those right. are like unknown to me. Oh, okay. And the discovery of yeah. trying something new is yep. so fascinating to me, <laughs> and sharing that with everyone on video. Exploring the unknown, basically? Basically, and like a lot of the folks who worked on the stuff in the 70s yeah. have long retired or passed away, yep, and yep. there was no internet, and that stuff is just not out there. Wow. So there's a sure. very small amount of information on some of these machines out on the internet. So I feel gratified. Like I did a video on running this version of DOS, yeah. but not on PC. It was for the Southwest Technical Products Corporation PC from 1975. And it was a version of DOS that one company made out of wherever, LA, yeah. I think. Yeah. That no one has ever got running on the internet and there's no documentation and I figured out how to make that damn disc work and <laughs> run on that computer and like I was just like who's that done this? Probably no one in the world has right, run this right, in right. 30 years. But maybe there was a reason Adrian oh, yeah. nobody did that. I'm not saying it was good I just like the video was good but I'm not saying that the software was yeah. good yeah, yeah, but yeah. I was like this is amazing I got it working. So yeah that kind of stuff just try, I try one. What is it about the Vintage Computer Festival uh, that draws so many people. What is it about old computers that brings all these people together? It's an easy answer, nostalgia. Right, right. Really, uh, you can't predict what your nostalgia is gonna be about. You know, especially when you're a young person. Right. You get rid of stuff because as humans, right, we can't keep everything we have ever had. Right. This is not possible. Yep. So you get rid of stuff and then you feel regret later when nostalgia creeps up Mm -hmm. And you're like, I wish I had that computer because you're right. wanting to relive That's right. those memories of like, well, I'm sorry, That's your right. memories of when you first got a computer yeah. and you were so That's right. enthralled by it. That's right. And I think like 
maybe people are into baseball cards or that's right. even that's cars. Right. Yep. But yep. they might have worked on a car with their dad, you know, and they want to relive all that. And it's that nostalgia. Thing. Yeah, that that feeling that was so fun and amazing. Right. And I felt that too when I was a kid. I got my first computer. Yeah. What was your first computer? Commodore Vic 20. No, that was mine too. I was seven. Yeah. It was 1982. Yep. My dad got it for me. And I loved that computer Did so much. Did you have much. the tape drive? Oh yeah, I didn't have any. <laughs> I never had a disk drive for that computer. So right. it was only the data set. No kidding. And I was seven and I would be following all the manuals, programming basic out of the books and stuff, typing it in from magazines. Yep. And I had so much fun with that. And like, so the joy of that got me back into this. Yep. And then I started repairing stuff because I knew it was all broken or would break. Right, right. So I needed to learn how to fix it myself and apply my troubleshooting skills that I've been, you know, honing my entire that's life. Right, that's but not right. on fixing things, but on other things. Yeah. And, and it, it works. It builds up like a sense of logic and understanding logic that's, and breaking things down that's and how about. to fix them. I totally understand. Whether it's vintage computers, your house roof leaking to try to figure yeah. out why the water's yeah, getting exactly. in, whatever. Right, right. Logical reasoning is the solution to all Absolutely. that stuff. Yeah, that's it. So there's nostalgia. And that's why, look how many people are here. This is crazy. I mean, and you know, and that was the one other thing, and I won't take up any more of your time, just a brief one moment, is my understanding is year after year, more and more people show up to these festivals, especially the retro festivals. Right. And it feels like there's this need for nostalgia. What do you think? I think that like the exposure of like the YouTube channels that are happening right. is like reminding people of what the, the feelings were back then and that brings that nostalgia back. And I mean, this is my first time ever coming to an event like this. Oh, really? Yeah, and people come up to me and they're just like, I I watched your channel and I wanted to buy one of these old computers and then it was broken and I had to fix it yeah, and you inspired right. me. Oh, neat, and okay. I don't know why I started making videos. Right, but, right. But definitely the intent was I wanted to share my passion for it and maybe people could learn a little bit about fixing their own computers from okay. me, which means less in the landfill and more yeah, happy people. Yeah. I, th I think there's definitely something when you take an old computer or a video camera and you bring it back to life. Right. And it's like, wow, you know what? It, ha it goes on to live again and exactly. that's very exciting. And you know what, it's like, listen, it doesn't have to end up at e-waste or a landfill. And you know, people get enjoyment from that. And that's what's so important, I think. Absolutely. Thank you so much again, Adrian. You're welcome. Uh, I appreciate it. Thank, Thank you. You're very welcome. Yeah.